cycle, cycle right around the Isle of Shippey. some of this I think In. It's all these horrible ruts. It's slippery AF.
and a lot of people come over here with their motorbikes it's a really good place to come you get police visits occasionally that's the only trouble Turned up that is down there. through these horrible ruts Have made, I think. Quite a nice track, really. On a motorbike. Yeah. 
Don't think I'm riding through that somehow. Oh well. Head back. Oh, I've toiled probably a mile through these ruts now. These look at the state of it. These four by four guys that come up here have absolutely trashed it. I came up in the summer and it was rutty, yeah, but not like this. There's no way can you, you know, you need a 4 by 4 to get through it. Can't do it on a push bike or a motorbike. It bloody ruined it. So, hopefully, um, there's a hill there with some steps. Once you get over that, hopefully it levels off a bit. The track should become better up there. I made it to the um, to the hill. Bridge. It's about a mile to the bridge, all on those poxy ruts. It's taken me about three quarters of an hour, I reckon, and now I'm knackered. Hopefully, this I'm sure this track is better now. See the ice. Cold, but I'm quite warm. Right, let's go. Oh God! Oh. Last thing I want to do is crash. It hurts. Crashed here on. Well, crashed here a couple of times actually. I rode along here at about probably 50 miles an hour on a Gas Gas 300. Got stuck in a rut and catapulted off and nearly went in the drink. drink now how the hell am I gonna get through that oh how deep is it oh, oh it's not too bad come on let's go oh that looks a bit better now doesn't it Mud on the tires is picking up the stones. That's better. Phew. Thank you. 
bikes. Look at the pampas grass. Certainly not native, is it? No one would come up here. Landage. Oh, I would just put it This is reclaimed land. Shame those former fours have ruined the bit from the hill to the bridge. They really have they've churned it into an absolute quagmire of the ruts are about 18 inches deep. And you can't ride through those. It's just one big lump of clay. There's no rock. It's the whole bloody island. It's mud. It is wet. It's sticky. Queenborough Creek. What is this? Queenborough. Um, this is Queenborough Creek. I'm not sure what you'd call it, but um, that's Queenborough there. The harbour part is. Um, place at one time. If you see my other videos you'll you know you'll hear I've seen I've about it quite a bit. It gets boring after a while. I'll go down there and get some pictures in a minute because it looks really good. Look at that um, yeah it's nice photography down there. Um, I don't know, right? Oui. Don't get too cocky. Thank you. 
sake. Yes. That's new. Must have stopped the four by fours. I suppose it will though. Pretty determined those guys. Two out almost there. Eh? There's a tractor coming behind me. Oh, I'm gonna get run over. to take a bit of the strain. All that walking's done me in.
Is it? Carry on. I know from experience some of these puddles are huge. And they're, you know, they're, they're about a foot deep. Oh Christ, there's a van coming. I'm not going to get told off. You're not supposed to be here. Wee wee. Slipperiest substance known to man. Mother and ice combined. Yuck. Ah, we made it. We made it past the worst of it. Let's just take in some of these views. It's open. Yes. God, I've never seen this gate open before. You usually have to go down on the, the old railway to our left. And up that way. Excellent. No 
Amazing. Oh, yeah. If you watched part one, you'll know where I am now on the death bridge. And I'm going to defy death by riding down the other side. You're all right, you haven't broke down, have you? <laughs> no, a bit of a nutter. Don't think he's broken down. Stop him for a bevy. on one of my favourite sections. Let's give it some beans. Power! Just to watch out for the dog walker. Have they seen me? Continue walking up the middle of the track. Thank you. Back on the power. Don't call me Speed King for nothing. Steady, steady. Oh, it's getting a bit loose. Ah. Oh. All right, that's the excitement over with. Run me battery down. I think I'll end the video here because you've all seen this you've seen this bit in part one. It gets a bit boring otherwise, isn't it? I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio!